PBS special and an upcoming tour from San Francisco to Carnegie Hall. Our first guest is preparing to dazzle audiences with her fabulous voice and without her shoes in Edina Menzel Live Barefoot at the Symphony. Please welcome Edina Menzel. <laughs> Dress. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous. Because I'm gorgeous. much more comfortable barefoot or in a bunch in a pair of uh, motorcycle boots. But I did this for you today. It was a sexy yes. walk. Gorgeous. 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 gorgeous, gorgeous. So I wanted to ask you, being a singer and yes. a fabulous singer, what do you think about Madonna singing about her ex, old man? I, like you guys said, I mean, I just think it's, she's an artist, she's yeah. a songwriter. Hasn't she been doing it for years and we just probably don't realize who she was writing about? Yeah. There must be, like a virgin must be about some guy. And oh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Move on that one. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's, it's what you do and if you're gonna be married or date somebody that's a yeah. songwriter, you kind of screwed, so. Yeah, Look get ready. Look at Morissette and whoever. Oh, that yeah. guy was, remember. But every guy wanted to take her to the movies after that song. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Think about the lyrics. All right, well, <laughs> when um, you and your husband, Tay Diggs, who we love yes, here, here. Oh, yes. we oh, yes. you guys met and fell in love when both on Broadway in Rent. Yep. And uh, what is the story about during the run of the show, you mooned him more than 700 times? I, <laughs> <laughs> That's probably how many shows we did, and it was part of the blocking, the choreography. And in rehearsal, we're, we played enemies, you know, our, our characters in, in rehearsal. One day I got up, and we were all like, you know, flipping him the bird, doing it. So I pulled down my pants. Was in my, char my character was Maureen. She was a lesbian, lipstick lesbian performance artist. And so I thought, well, she would probably take her pants down and. And when the guy, and then I had to had to do it for the next year and a half every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, did I know I'd be sleeping with him and <laughs> fighting with him, and so and so he knows that sight. moon. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I heard that in a performance of Wicked, you were having so much fun that you actually peed your pants on stage. Yes, I'm not. Oh, I know these ladies are like, oh, poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not that ashamed of it. We just, you know, the Menzel girls have weak bladders. You know, my mom always says when she jogs, she has to be careful, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I mean, first of all, if you're <laughs> don't <laughs> sneeze, <laughs> don't ever say that. <laughs> now that I've had a baby, too, you know, so I'm not going that direction. But anyway, <laughs> to my Kegels and everything. Is that daytime talk? Can you yeah. Say, can you say Kegels? Well, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> to go down there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have no idea what the question was. It was, was what happened, what happened that made oh, you yeah, 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 yeah. No, it doesn't have to be a lie. It's, it's... Oh, shoot. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> Um, 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 oh, you know, you're just, you're drinking a lot of water because you're singing eight shows a week and, you know, you're always trying to keep your voice um, moist, moist and all that. And I know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> To, to change it up and keep yeah. it fresh, you know. So God forbid somebody like trips or they say a wrong word or something happens, somebody drops something, you know. Usually, every, you know, you have like Saturday Night Live, you start seeing it. Yeah. Well, I'm at the same time, I'm peeing in my pants. Luckily, I have a corseted black beautiful gown on and I have someone that helps me after I get off stage. <laughs> <laughs> and then I run around and make it on my way for my 11 o'clock number. <laughs> More with the Dina Menzel when we come right back. 
Context is sort of weird, like I'm with the symphony and I'm doing poker <laughs> face and they're singing along gown. and I'm in a gown. Yeah, but that's because I did sing it on Glee with Leah and Michelle and so <laughs> I, uh, so I thought, well, I should do a song that, you know, I did on that show and, well, how can I change it up? So my music arranger, we came up with this thing and then one day I was on, on stage and I was like, I have to apologize to all these Juilliard trained musicians that I'm asking this thing <laughs> <laughs> to, to play poker face up here and explain why I'm doing this song and it's because, you know, the, when, when they called me to do the job, you know, everybody thinks it's going to be so glamorous and so cool, you know, on Glee, you know, hit show, whatever, and I just had a baby and I was feeling really fat and like I was never going to work again and they call me and there I am, you know, um, looking at the script and everything and it says I'm going to play the mother of Leah Michelle who in real life is 25 years old. <laughs> I was like, oh. it's not the best day of my life, but I thought, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to suck it up and go there and then cut to like the trailer. I was like pumping my boobs with, with the breast milk and the whole thing. They're like, you know, it comes to sad, it Miss oh. Benzel. And so. you come skipping out. Yes. <laughs> 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 you performed barefoot too. In yeah, well, this, after I started doing silly songs like that, I decided, you know, I'm going to be more myself and I will have this grand, you know, orchestra and, and it will feel magnificent and thrilling, but also want to kind of keep it real for myself. And, you know, I'm still a girl from Long Island that used to sing with the rock bands, and so I don't get carried away in the gown and the, that massive you know, sound, it's, it's sort of a balance for me. Now, being that both you and Tay are singers, your son Walker, who's two and a half now, does he sing? Does yeah, he's starting to sing a lot. He's, he's oh, a oh, 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 yeah, he is adorable. That was a Legoland. Oh. oh <laughs> if, if he didn't sing, I'd think he would be broken. Like, how can you, you know, like, you're broken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> more he's really he's like oh. he and Tay's an amazing dancer so but it's it's not just like it's not like any kid he's like you know he's very special <laughs> he's, gifted, he's, coming as up, say. he's choreographing and like he's very focused about his movement oh. he wakes up in the morning and goes five six. Exactly. <laughs> There are two songs on your album that were made famous by Barbara Streisand, and I heard yes. you, you've performed for her, but you've also performed for Barack Obama. Yes. So who was more difficult to perform who for? Who was the toughest crowd? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would normally, I mean, I would say Barbara, but in this particular thing that I did uh, at the White House, um, President Obama and um, the First Lady and their kids were sitting like, where you're sitting, that close. Wow. And it, oh that gosh. song, Defying Gravity, is very hard to sing without getting all the spit going and all the... And I was the whole time, all I could see was Sam and Wait, things, like, what if I... Defying Gravity? Oh, yeah, okay. So and what if I, like, sp yeah. you know, spin on the president like and... <laughs> so I was just so <laughs> terrified. <laughs> what, if I, what if he said something funny and I'd be in my pants at the White House? to know it is my sisters we sing it in the kitchen on family dinner night my daughter my niece my two sisters my step we built our brains out terribly <laughs> mind you but terribly sing gravity and every other song oh, on the kid, it was oh like, that's we're oh, slobbering yes. fanatical fans so, okay. so. <laughs> but i've also heard that you have this unique talent where you can sing any song and it's you don't need to know professed talent and you do not need to know a single lyric in that song because you will make up your own lyrics. Because I was a wedding singer when I first started, 15, 16 years old. So, you know, you have to learn a million songs, but of course someone will request something you, you don't know. But, you know, you have a good year. I was a singer, so, yeah, I'd come up with, I could just, nobody was listening to me anyway, and they're drunk. So I would just go, yeah, I know that song. I'd just start singing, like, You'd it'd be it like, up. yeah, like conga, you know, come on, everybody, let's do that. I, I don't, I still to this day, I can't tell you the verse. So I'd just be, and then let you can can have now. Love <laughs> The CD of the same name is on sale now, and everyone in our studio audience is going over the copy. To find out where you can see Adina perform live, log on to thepuff.com. We'll be right back.
Up next, Dr.